Hello everyone. In this short video we will see how to perform docking with DataGrok Auto Dock plugin. So let's imagine that we have a table with chemical molecules that we need to dock to some macromolecule and estimate the binding affinity. So to do this we need to navigate chem, choose auto dock plugin. And then the only thing what we need to do is to choose one of the pre-configured uh, targets and run the calculation. First calculation will take a while because Autodoc prepares uh, affinity map for macromolecule and this is time consuming process. But all subsequent run will, runs will be notably faster because DataGrok caches affinity maps and at the next run we won't need to recalculate it. After docking process finishes, we will see the pauses of the docked molecules and the binding energy. And the table will be sorted by binding energy from best affinity to worst. By clicking on the pause, in the details, data, we will see the three-dimensional viewer with our uh, rece target receptor molecule and the small molecule, so we can visually explore how the small molecule fits into the ligand binding pocket of our macromolecule. Also, the data group will show us all energy components of the binding. And by clicking this plus sign, we can easily add them to the data grok table and then perform any kind of filtering, analysis and analytics that data grok can do. Now let's learn how to prepare the target for the docking. To do this, we need to use the Autodoc tools package created by the Autodoc authors. And first that we need to do is to open the receptor molecule from protein data bank. And to prepare molecule for docking, we need to make a couple of simple actions. First of all, we need to delete all water molecules. Then we need to leave only one molecule that we want to dock. Usually it's quite often situation when the Crystallized structure contain two molecules in the one file. So we need to select, oh, sorry. select this molecule, go to edit, delete, and delete and selected atoms. And uh, last point is that the receptor usually is crystallized with some sort of ligand. And because we want the ligand binding pocket to be free, we need to delete this ligand molecule. It's usually at the end of the chain. So we select this molecule. Here it is. Go to the edit, delete, and deleting, sorry, delete the molecule. We need to delete selected items. Okay. That's it. Next, we go to the auto dock specific menu, go to the grid, macromolecule, and we choose our load molecule as a macromolecule. So data group performs some pre-calculations and offers us to save this molecule in the PDBQT format. So we save in the molecule. And second, we need to specify the grid box. This is the region of the macromolecule where, now, where after dock will actually perform the docking. So usually the center is good enough and we just need to change the size of the binding pocket to allow larger molecules to dock and to cover the most part of the receptor. Let's say, no. no. Something, something like this. What I need to know that we need to specifically go to file and choose the close saving current to save the grid box settings. Also, we need to set affinity map types. 
we can do it by choosing ligand molecule, but to dock this large set of molecule, which we usually do in data grok, it's better to use this direct setting up. And usually we need to add chlorium atoms because uh, most part of our ligands can contain such atoms. Okay, accept. And after this, we go to grid output and we save the grid parameter files. It should have the same name as the molecule itself. So I'm choosing 1PBQ GPF. Okay, that's it. And the last thing we need to do is to add our target molecule to the data grok. To do this, we navigate to the application data, go to the docking folder, find the target subfolder, and here we need to create folder with the same name as our macromolecule, save it. Then we go to this folder, choose the PDBQT and GPF files, and just upload it to the data group files. That's it.